Hello, I'm LRJ from LRJ TV. I've been on YouTube for many years, and I've hardly never asked you guys for any help until now. I am looking for you guys to assist me in this matter. I want you guys to literally put this video on your Facebook page, put this video on Twitter, get the word out. This man right here is responsible for thousands and thousands of people who have been mistreated by police. He's responsible for multiple deaths by police. His name is Jeff Rhoda. America, who is Jeff? Jeff is the seed of Satan. This man started his career in law enforcement as an undercover drug officer. Well, later on, they found out that Jeff had a problem with lying. Filing false statements against suspects. Uh, when he demanded to get special treatment from the police chief and he was declined his request, he also filed false statements against the police chief. Therefore, he was fired from the Arnold Police Department. Like most officers who get fired, they move on. And so did Jeff. He moved on to a very small community of 150-some people and became the police chief in that community. He later became the business manager of the St. Louis Police Association. Let me show you who this man really is. Let's not waste no more time. Uh, let's go. Did a St. Louis police officer go too far and actually assault a handcuffed suspect? We've got the video. You be the judge. The police department and prosecutors both say Officer Rory Bruce clearly crossed the line when he hit that teenage suspect back in 2012. They both say they had an obligation to hold him accountable. But, Lauren Traeger, you say a judge actually found the officer not guilty and never even viewed the video. The victim in this case chose not to testify here at court. There was no jury. A judge was the sole decider. She did not allow that police surveillance video to be shown at Officer Bruce's trial, so I requested it straight from the source. Come here. The video taken from the back of a transport vehicle shows the handcuffed teenager stepping out to face two officers, Rory Bruce on the left. Stand out here with us. Words exchanged, and then this. One far forearm. Uh, as he forearm blow as he's trained to do. I met with Jeff Rorta with the St. Louis Police Officers Association. Without the video playing in front of him, I asked him what it shows. Rorta says the judge did right. He says police videos like these should be used to protect police, not go after them. Now it's become a gotcha sort of headhunter tool that, uh, that we've seen internal affairs, frankly, uh, go overboard with. Rorta says with his name clear in the courts, Bruce should get his job back. Uh, the uh, the thugs on the street have uh, some pretty sophisticated, dangerous uh, weapons. Jeff Rorta at the St. Louis Police Officers Association says that's got to change. The standard 9mm gun for officers has long been the gun for police in the city, but its days are clearly numbered. Has the department looking at lighter and more powerful handguns that shoot better ammunition? Number one, this is a very powerful cartridge. It is essentially very close to 357 Magnum revolver cartridge ballistics out of a small gun like this. Outfitting the nearly 1,300 police officers with body cameras while they're on the job. The city says it just comes down to a matter of funding, but now the police union is pushing back with issues of its own. They can't employ this equipment without violating the, the union contract that they signed. St. Louis Police Union rep said today before any decisions are made about body cameras in the city, there must first be an agreement working out exactly what the recordings would be used for. This is gotcha discipline uh, that we have with the dashboard cameras is what we would be afraid of uh, with uh, body cameras. Police in this petition say this isn't a criminal investigation, so they're asking for the same rights as everyone else, privacy on their private cell phones. What I'm summing up is that we have a witch hunt. The St. Louis Police Officers Association claims internal affairs is going too far, asking for officers' cell phone records and threatening termination if they don't comply. These are police officers at the department is singled out as, as being under suspicion. For leaking a photo of the bloody, bullet-riddled body of Carlos Bowles. 
Police won't comment on the open investigation, but tell me the department is seeking every officer who forwarded the image. The chief says it was inappropriate and unacceptable. At no time have they uh, explained what policy forwarding that picture violates. You know, Other they, than they, it was poor taste. Right, right. I mean, granted. The cell phones do not belong to the department, nor does the department pay for them. In one case, the officer doesn't even own the phone, it's his wife. In another case, it's the officer's mother. And that's why police are now asking a judge to decide what's legal. If a judge does not grant an injunction by Monday, the officers in question must give Internal Affairs a history of their picture messages. Officers say the department is attacking their Fourth Amendment right, which guards against unreasonable searches and seizures. It's the awful for morale. I mean, to, to come into work and, and to know that your administration doesn't have your back, doesn't, doesn't think that you've got the same rights that every criminal out there has. Now, Jeff Rhoda is a state representative. Now, my question to you is, is he in office for the people or is he in office for the police department? He tried to pass a bill that evidence is considered to be hazardous and some evidence should be destroyed without court approval. But the evidence can still be used in the court. So basically what the man is saying is that uh, you murdered somebody, but we don't have the proof or the guns and all of that stuff But because I'm a cop. Take my word for it. Also, he just tried to pass a bill recently, a bill basically against the Sunshine Law, making it harder for people to receive records from police departments. Now in a past session, one lawmaker proposed a law to stop the release of an officer's name if they're involved in a shooting unless they're charged with a crime. And could put the officer in, in grave jeopardy. Jeff Rorida is worried about the safety of police officers. He's both the business manager of the St. Louis Police Officers Association and also a state representative. The Democrat from Barnhart, Missouri, about five years ago, introduced legislation that would have prevented the public from obtaining any records or documents involving a police shooting if those documents contained the name of any officer who did the shooting. Rorda was worried about retaliation. Well, that someone may retaliate. That somebody thinking that they, uh, in some way, acted incorrectly would, would take matters in their own hands and, and try to harm the officer or his family. Later, the Police Officers Association reached a compromise with city police to not release any officer's name if they could face a threat. And based on that compromise, Rorida did not pursue the legislation. All we saw all week was phony baloney amendments to take this director's salary away or that director's salary away, grandstanding that we know is not going to be there at the end. We, and then we get mad when our side actually cuts our, our fund, our house contingency fund, people are mad. Be quiet. You got, if you got something to say, then you stand up and be quiet. Guess what, people? This man has plans to run for state. Senator Governor Jay Nixon does not care about the black people in Missouri. That's why he support this rick. That's why he support Jeff. On my way home today, I seen two high school students, African American young men. They was walking with their book bags. Um, I seen an officer drive his vehicle um, like a U-turn and turn on his lights, drove up on the curb, and left. And I didn't understand why these officers was bothering these young men who wasn't doing anything. When I tried to call the police department to report this incident, the officer on the phone had a really, what you want me to do about it? How you know they wasn't doing anything? Just rude and disrespectful. And I asked myself over and over again, when would this stuff stop? And now I'm here today to tell you what I need to be done. Please share this video so America can see the piece of shit that Missourians have to deal with. I'm LRJ. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Why? Because you be glad you did. I love you all. Peace.